Welcome to another day of Olympic coverage. But this one is a little bit different because um, I'm just actually getting ready for the IQ Foil Worlds in Silver Planet. It comes up in two weeks. Uh, now, for most people, they know the RSX, which is the current Olympic board, is going out after this Olympic. So after Saturday, which is tomorrow, uh, that'll be it for the Olympic board, the RSX, and the IQ Foil starboard will be coming in. Right. So I'm just doing a little bit of research, trying to put some videos together. The boys are over in Lake Garda training for Silver Planet. I say the boys. I've got Ethan Vester over there, Matthias Isaac, uh, Amada Vriesvike, and they're all going proper training. So they sent us a few videos, and I'm just going to do some stuff. So I'm watching these videos, and I've noticed something, which... I think will be very, very interesting. So I've got these videos on the screen and I just want to see if you guys notice it. Um, so we've got, I think we're on board now with Ethan Vestra. Uh, Matthias Isaac is just ahead of him. And then just ahead of those two is Amado Vries fight. Now, I don't think he's been doing much IQ foil uh, sailing recently. So it's kind of interesting to see him in action anyway. Um but just see if you notice something different. Do you notice anything different? He's coming up now. So that's him ahead. He's obviously got his jibes down. Anything different yet? Anything different? I don't know. Maybe we need a better, maybe we need a better shot. So let me just pull up another video. Uh, let's pull up another video. So there we go. This, excuse my, uh, bad editing skills here. We're just going to put this together. Um, I think this is Matthias Isaac in the water, but check this. This is a model of Reese fight tack. Pretty sick tack. You notice anything? Nothing? Okay. We're going to pull up the next one. You, you'll get there. You'll get the message in a minute. Uh, so that's a model of Reese fight. Anything different? No, no. Okay, I'm going to pull up another one. I'm going to pull up another one. Uh, I'm going to get there. I'll get to the point in a minute. I will definitely get to the point in a minute. Just stick with it. Stick with it. And you will go, oh, oh, because I did. I did. And I think it's super interesting. So, Mother he looks good, doesn't he? Looks like he's got it under control. And you're probably thinking, oh, Ben, cut to the chase. Come on. What's the punchline here? Okay, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to a much better one. Let's let's go to this one. There's only two videos left, so stick with it. So this is a model of Reese Fight jibe in practice. Anything? Okay. One last video. And this one, if you don't see it on this one, uh, it's all over. Um okay, are you ready? Now tell me if you notice something different. A Mardo Reese Fight training in Lake Garda. Yes, future fly IQ. And you and there might be a few people going, what was that? What are you on about? Well, this is maybe the first board we've seen that's not a starboard. Yeah. So future fly, I don't know. I haven't spoke to the boys yet. Um, I'm definitely going to message them because I, I messaged them. I won't lie, I did message them, but they didn't message me back. So I don't know if they're not telling me something. I don't know if this is some sneaky ploy to make me put it in, but it's pretty hard to not to notice. Is this a new thing coming? Because we've got to remember, when that new Olympic discipline was, uh, was put forward, other brands were allowed to have the design with their logos on, which the reason for this is so, you know, one company doesn't have a monopoly over everything and then brands can sponsor sailors and it opens up a whole new world of doing that. So, you know, maybe we get a future fly, couple of guys sponsored by them, might be other boards coming in. But this for me is the first board I've seen with that logo on it. I don't know. I, I'm waiting to hear back from them. I thought I'd just put it out there, see what you guys think, see if it's interesting. Will it make a difference? It's obviously got to be the same design. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know any more than that. It can happen with sales as well. You know, that was the rule. You could buy, I think, the design off Severn and you could make the sale exactly the same but with let's say cinema style logos on or duotone logos or something like this will we see a fanatic iq foil board 
I don't know, but it's super interesting. I just thought I'd put it out there. Let's get the discussion going. Um, I'm wait as soon as I hear back officially from Future Flight or from you know Amado, which I was hoping he would get back to me. I'm not sure if he's done this to tease me, but let's see. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of an update on the Olympic discipline, the RSX one at the moment, because obviously the medal race is tomorrow. We're going to do a watch along. So if you haven't tuned in already, what it is is we can't get any video footage from the olympic committee um well they, they've just they, they just close it all in and give it to certain broadcasters we're not part of that broadcast funny enough you have to pay a lot of money so we can't do that so what we have been doing is we've been getting some top boys in we've had dorian van this week uh the double gold medalist we've had uh tom ashley a gold medalist and we are basically just gonna put on um the uh olympic racing on the side and we're just going to watch along with you guys at home you can comment you can do all that stuff um which i think is pretty fun um and and we just watch it with you so it's like a big group like watch along that's what it's called it's a watch along uh but we're going to do tonight a little roundup of, of of how it's looking who's in for medals obviously kieran badlow he just needs to sail a safe race and he will be the gold medalist if he goes over the line early gets disqualified it could change, but as long as he sails nice and safe and cruises around, he will be the gold medalist. But silver is up for grabs. We've got three riders in that. Uh, we've got Thomas Goya. Uh, we've got Camboni from Italy. And we've got Mishka from Poland. Uh, in the women, there's only three riders in it. It just depends which way they finish to what medal they will get. We've got Shu from China. She's leading at the moment. Four points ahead of Emma Wilson uh, from the UK. Uh, and then two points behind Emma is the French lady, Charlene. So that is set for a real exciting one. That is going to be on early Saturday morning Europe time. And like I said, we're going to go live on Windsurfing TV, YouTube channel uh, and on the Facebook book and we're going to do a watch along and we're going to watch it with you and uh, we're just going to add our little insight it's not going to be full-blown commentary it's just going to be a couple of dudes chatting shit yeah, basically <laughs> but it was quite fun last time and for the hardcore out there i think it works really well so there you go that's just my little update from today what do you think of that future flight iq foil are we going to see many of those in silver planner um i don't know i'm looking forward to it so uh thanks for joining us and i will see you later for the update